is a beautiful Wednesday, June the 17th. It's National Eat Your Vegetables Day. And it's time for the wise guys. As always, let's start with Sir and the Weather. <laughs> I think we need to redo that because we uh, had a little Max Headroom moment. <laughs> A little freezing happening there. Oh, man. Probably the, uh... Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful Wednesday, June the 7th. And it's no, no, no. Talk like a robot, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. All that talk about alcohol. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Take 12. Wish take, a had breath, a most- take a breath in between each syllable that should come together. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mimosa Wednesday. All right. Take three. It's good when you can chop all the stuff off the beginning. It's a lot easier that way. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful Wednesday, June the 17th. It's National Eat Your Vegetables Day, and it's time for the wise guys. As always, let's start with Sir and the weather. A wonderful Wednesday indeed. Currently 17 degrees on the 17th, working our way up to a high of 25 degrees. Sunny skies again today, tomorrow, and for the rest of the week. And the mercury is again on the rise. Excellent. Beautiful symmetry with the temperature. That's great. Well, I don't want to get too corny, but can you do me a solid and help celery create National Eat Your Vegetables Day? You know, it's been leaked out that we are in the middle of a pandemic, but these jokes continue to crop up. You just can't beat this day as a bushel of vegetable fun. It's so rad. <laughs> Oh, time to veg out, everyone. <laughs> that was even tough for me. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's get right to the musical part of the show. It's time for tunes with Tamik. Tamik, what song do we add to our playlist today? So today we're adding a favorite from Mark, one of our dads on the past year. Mark, do you want to tell everybody what song you selected? This is a great tune from some good old boys from the rock. Great Big C, and the song is Consequence Free. I had the pleasure of seeing them at the Molson Amphitheatre, I guess the Budweiser stage down at Ontario Place a few years ago, and I also saw Alan Doyle at Massey Hall, one of the last concerts before the Reno. Uh, great party every time these guys get on stage, everybody's up and dancing, and uh, really a tremendous tune. And a shout out to manager Ryan, who I'm sure is a fan of Great Big C as well. It actually, you know, I was listening to it last night and this morning, and um, it's, it's a cool message because I think, especially in this day and age, everybody's always afraid to say the wrong thing and do the wrong thing, and so sometimes in doing that, we just say nothing at all, you know, or we don't interact at all, we don't, it kind of takes our curiosity and takes it out the window, and I think, you know, the message of being consequence-free could be just, you know, be a little bit curious, find out about each other, ask some questions. Um, you know, allow for that curiosity to, to help your learning as opposed to being afraid to learn. Um, so that's the message I got from this song. What are, what are, what's the message you got from it? Yeah, and thinking as well. I mean, we, we can be serious about things, but not take ourselves too seriously. Um, I love the line about just a little bit of anarchy, but not the hurting kind. So, yeah, let's, let's bend the rules a little bit where we can help people, but let's not be, um, let's not take ourselves too, too seriously. Let's, uh, let's make sure that we're doing things to move everyone forward. Um, and again, I think we need to relax a little bit, certainly as, as tensions are heightened around the world. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And as James rubs his temples. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, he, no, he was just thinking about kissing the cod later. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't is that part of the tradition? I've already been screeched in, thank you. <laughs> you okay. Great song. Very um, um, what's interesting about Newfoundland is sort of that Irish, Scottish this this kind of interesting background of music, which a lot of things in Newfoundland weirdly enough, remind me of Jamaica, and I know that sounds weird, 
like because it's still that island feel that's connected to the water um yeah it's pretty cool so thank you for your pick today my and pleasure to, to paul's pick tomorrow because i know paul has something for us there we go there we go the so consequence free great big c please listen i know cindy's jumping around listening to this already <laughs> yes a great canadian band thank you mark well done, sir. Let's head over to Ventures with Venturo. Venturo, what have you got for us today? Well, I got a book for you today, guys. It's called A Debt-Free Degree by Anthony O'Neill. The step-by-step -step guide to getting your kids to college without student loans. Is that even possible? Hey, the you author explains... 20 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> the author explains how starting the conversation of a debt-free college education as early as middle school will enhance your child's journey through the college experience and enable them to graduate from college with minimal or zero student loan debt. Obtaining a college degree without debt is possible and requires a lot of hard work, according to a deal. However, should the need arise to opt for student loan, families should do it responsibly and with careful planning. I guess we're applying for one million scholarships, right? So check that book out. Um, Hopefully, if you're heading into college or university, it might be a little bit too late for you if you didn't start anything, but there are a lot of scholarships out there for you to explore and see if you can get some of those as you embark on your college or university journey. That's it. Debt Free Degree by Anthony O'Neill. Check that book out. Sort of Corresponds with the, uh, we did a celebration of our graduation yesterday and my daughter thought it was because she had got a degree. It was because we're no longer paying for the university. <laughs> <laughs> Another one off the payroll. <laughs> yeah. Ventura, you have a few years to think about this. this is what yeah. You yeah, you know what? Yeah. Applies to me. Crack oh. that's fine. All right, it's Wednesday. That means it's time for Wednesday's word. Ah, yes. Oh, that's a vegetable. That is being made by humans. And broccoli is a human invention. Did you know that? It was bred out of the wild cabbage plant. And something else, apparently. I just don't know what the combination was. But it's a bit like Beyond Meat. <laughs> Beyond, Beyond broccoli? Yeah. I don't know if it's going <laughs> to stick. <laughs> so it, it takes a whole new context when your parents said, eat your meat and vegetables. You know, like, were you really eating meat and vegetables? Wait. All right. Well, have a great Wednesday, everyone. We are the wise guys and girl, leaving you much smarter and happier than you were yesterday. <laughs> <laughs>